Hello, and um, welcome to a Hobonichi tour. My name is Brona and I'm an artist and illustrator based in Dublin, Ireland. Um, and I treated myself to a Hobonichi Techo Vec planner at the beginning of the year. If you don't know what Hobonichi is, it's a brand of planners um, and stationery that I really like. Um, and I got really obsessed with watching videos of Hobonichi tours and like flip throughs and stuff. Um, and I was watching them for months before actually getting myself one. I was like debating whether or not to get one because the shipping from Japan was so expensive. But I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I was like, okay, I need to get one. So I did. Um, and I'm so glad I did because I love it. <laughs> um, I told myself when I got it that I would strictly use it for fun um, as like a creative hobby outside of my work. Um, and I just love how the calendar is set up. It's really fun to like map out, not fun, but well, yes, fun, but fun and just really helps me when I'm mapping out my month. And I'll put in, you know, all the appointments or engagements that I have for that month um, and add in stickers. I don't know what it is, but it just makes me like feel way more calm about my month ahead because sometimes I get kind of like stressed out about all the things I need to do in a month. I started this thing also where I choose a word of the month. I'm quite an inconsistent person. Like some months I'll be so super duper exhausted. So I might choose like a word like softness and then other months I'll feel like I have loads of energy and these months might be the word push and I kind of like, they kind of like counteract each other um, and like making the most of the time when I do feel like I have energy. Um, and looking back at the months words, um, I feel like I genuinely honor the words. I guess weirdly it's sort of like manifesting, but also not because I'm just basically accepting how things already are and working with it and not forcing things too much. Um, I, I really believe in the law of detachment. If you don't know what the law of detachment is, look it up. I've been using my Hobonichi to scrapbook, journal, memory keeping, drawing, and just generally having fun. I've always been obsessed with notebooks and sketchbooks, and there's something about a Hobonichi that truly is the most perfect notebook I've ever come across. The pages are so thin, yet like really durable, and there's so many like pages. And I love how they crinkle and it gets like super thick when you stick stuff in. I'm a pretty tactile person when it comes to materials and like it's just fun for the senses. Um, and the fact it's a daily planner is good too because it keeps me in check. Like it forces me to have playtime, which sometimes I need to be forced to have playtime. Um, this particular Hobonichi planner is called the Avec, so it's basically two books split into six months. It's good for people who like to stick things in their Hobonichi because I'm not sure the spine would take much more. <laughs> like if this was a whole year of like sticking in stuff, it would just explode. Um, I also really like having a fresh book to start like I kind of get fed up working in the same notebook all the time um and I like a bit of newness so after a while so um it's good in that way um I can't believe we're more than halfway through this year to start my second Hobonichi book. Um, 
I feel like I haven't done much this year, but I know that's not true. Like, particularly looking back over this book, I'm like, I've done so many things. Um, but I have just such a bad memory, so. Um, yeah, and I think that's why this Hobonichi is so important to me now, because it's like, particularly sticking in photos of things I've done, because, because of my bad memory, if something happens, it just like, afterwards, it just like goes into the ether. Um, I just forget everything so it's nice to remind me like the things I've done and like look back over things and so yeah like memory keeping is a big one for like why I wanted to use a Hobonichi um and I think like going forward in my next book I want to take down like like do more accounts of like what I've done um there was a lot of pages that I just was kind of like, oh, I'm gonna just stick things in. And to be honest, like, that's fun too. And I think, I mean, by the end of this notebook, I'm doing a lot of like stickers, um, like collaging of stickers, because it's the kind of the, the lowest maintenance thing to do in my Obonichi. It's kind of like mindless. Um, I don't really have to think about it. There's not a lot of energy involved. I just kind of like, looking through my sticker collection like sticking stickers down and I don't really think too much about it um I can be a bit, bit of a perfectionist um even when it's like things that are for fun um so I really have to like check myself and like oh, am I overthinking this because like the times when I do have the most fun and like you know just get into like a flow state is when I'm not overthinking things when I'm just kind of like using my hands and mindlessly putting stickers down and not thinking too hard about it like does this color go with this sticker and blah, blah, blah. um and like the whole point of this Hobonichi was to have something that I wouldn't overthink and something that would help with my anxiety and something that I can just like turn my brain off for um and like most of the time that is the case when i'm working in my hobonichi but sometimes i'll be like for whatever reason i'll be like overthinking the things that i'm doing I'm like why does this look so bad it's like oh, it doesn't matter if it looks bad <laughs> This year I turned 30, which is really cool. Um, I've been looking forward to turning 30 because I wanted to say goodbye to my 20s because they were... <laughs> I mean, I think we can all agree 20s are a difficult decade. It's a lot of like figuring yourself out and like making mistakes and not really knowing what's going on. Um, which I mean, you never really know what's going on. Like I still don't know what's going on. But I am happy about being 30. It feels like a fresh start. It's kind of like what I said before, like I don't like working in the same notebook for too long. I like newness. I like a little fresh start. I like a new week where it's like, there's nothing written in yet. You know, it's, there's possibility involved with a fresh start. Um, and I think when I turned 30, um, well, I started th therapy at the beginning of this year, actually pretty much very shortly after I turned 30. Or was it just before I turned 30? Anyway, it was kind of this realization that was like, uh, the things that I struggle with, that I've always struggled with, don't seem to be going away by from like growing up and like by age. And I think when I was younger, I was like, oh, I will grow out of this and I'll grow out of like, the anxiety issues that I have and that I've always experienced um, but that wasn't the case and like not even just anxiety like lots of different things but um, I was like oh like I really have to like I can't just wait around for things to change like it really clicked when I did like when I was like oh the realisation I'm turning 30 and it's like I think because you have 30 in your head as like such an adult age when you're a kid so then when you reach that age and you're like, I still feel like a child. <laughs> you're like, what's happening? I mean, everyone feels that way. Like nobody feels like 
like an adult really. Um, but anyway, I started therapy because I was like, I need to do some things to change this myself. Um, and honestly, like it's been, well, I'm not there. I'm not going to therapy anymore because my therapist basically stopped working at the place I was going to. So yeah, it sort of shook everything up. And I remember my therapist telling me like when I was talking about this and like, like oh, is therapy meant to feel bad before it gets good? <laughs> he was like, yeah, actually pretty much. He was saying that like he used this analogy or metaphor or whatever of like, you know, a jar filled with water and sand and how like sand settles to the bottom and then you shake it all up and it's like everywhere and it feels chaotic and like you can see all the sand he was then he was like the sand was always there it was just settled at the bottom and that's kind of what therapy does it shakes it up and i, I couldn't agree more it it really was like that um and it like kind of undid everything for me and it's sort of anyway lots of learning about myself this year um in the past few months and i yeah it's been crazy <laughs> but yeah I would rather know things and like learn about myself and like try to help myself where I can um and I think anyone out there who's listening who is struggling if you can do therapy I would recommend it even if you don't feel like you need therapy you probably do <laughs> I think we get really set in our ways to the point like we don't even know when there's something wrong or the way we are is isn't totally healthy or whatever um and I think everyone has you know unhealthiness to them because how can you not um but anyway it's been weird to go from like being really unaware to being so painfully aware but yeah, so it's been challenging, but I think I'm kind of getting out of that now. I feel like I'm sort of like, yeah, I was in a bit of a slump, but now I'm like coming out from that. I'm like, I have all this new knowledge and I can like do things with that. And I'm currently looking for a new therapist and like, yeah. Anyway, this is basically me promoting therapy to everyone. <laughs> um, yeah. I know everyone can't access therapy, but um, there is a lot of services, like the one I was going to was low income therapy, um, so that was helpful. I started a new job. contemplating for a long time just like getting another job um, besides illustration because I was just like work has been really hard lately like to get work and I've just been really lacking a lot of drive energy motivation so I think like it's a bit of a vicious cycle um, and like it's just really hard being creative all the time <laughs> like I just I'm, I don't know if I'm if I have that ability. Um, so I came to the realization like, okay, I need another job with maybe a bit more stable income. Um, because I was just really anxious all the time as well about money. Um, just like the kind of the, the not knowing if I will get money this month, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, and it's really, been really helpful actually to know like, okay, I have, money coming in like a, a definite amount of money um and it's it's the struggle really of being creative like being able to support yourself and also doing the creative projects you want to do because i think that was another thing as well it's like the realization of the jobs that i w would like to do aren't necessarily jobs that pay a lot of money um but I've currently, I just recently applied to funding for a project that I've wanted to do for literally years. So um, that's kind of big news, I guess. Um, I won't say too much about the project. Um, but a book I illustrated recently that came out with the HSE um, called Safe Harbor. 
written by Patricia Ford. It was an absolute honor to illustrate this book. Really important, it's a free resource for children who have been bereaved by suicide um, and their families and basically to help them navigate the feelings and also explain to them what suicide is. Um, so that was amazing and honestly the people I worked with were incredible and really inspiring. I actually think they're a big part of why I applied to the funding to do the project that I want to do because it made me realize like that's what I want my art to be involved with to help like people um in some way I don't know in some small way um I don't really care about money I wish I did care about money but I don't I don't care about cool projects I just want my art to connect with people in some kind of way Anyway, thank you for listening to me ramble on. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like and like and like. Oh my god, I can't speak. Like and subscribe if you would like to. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.